itself is really personal but we all know on the basis of different studies different uh, aspects of academic curriculum and primarily in psychology we all know that uh, self is also very much related with the environment though it is another thing that most of the philosophies of the world for example indian philosophy emphasize that understanding of self is primarily related to the individual but it is also equally evident and equally important that understanding of self is emphasized more if we are going to understand the environment so that is why i am saying that uh, many of the time our questions are not really only limited to us but our these questions are also related to the en environment and this environment is not only to be discussed in the perspective of i mean uh, materialistic object or material object but this environment is also integrally related with the some other animate object for example humanized object for example relationship lots of people have reported that during a specific phase of the life they are surrounded with questions which are much related with the relationship of their life so relationships are also very important part of the self and the self is another again have to be understood from the perspective of a dynamic vision so uh, this dynamic vision includes the understanding of self from individualistic perspective as well as from the environment perspective this environment include the individual as well as the other human uh, objects for example a relationship can also be said one kind of human object where self is related with so this is something about the uh, dynamic picture of self which includes the environment as a integral part now various researchers various spiritual seekers have commented very beautifully on this concept of self and let me tell you that self in first impression appears to be very superficial may appear to be very superficial but when you start describing it when you start understanding it you begin to feel surprise that oh my god it is such a vast area which is really untouched so far so self is not something to be explained only on the personal level or individual level but this personal area but this individual area is very integral part of self so uh, in indian philosophy ancient indian scripture which starts from vedantic philosophy this vedantic philosophy which has been categorized into different vedas for example yajur veda for example rig ved for example sam ved and athar ved if i am not sure how many of you have gone through with some glimpses of these vedas but if you ever try to go into uh, into the uh, these vedas you will be surprised to know that most of the rituals most of the messages most of the suggestions has been developed and has been delivered considering the individual into the perspective so all the vedas and not only the vedas substituent part of these vedas in the form of upanishad in the form of sankhya in the form of mimamsa in the form of uh, brahma sutra all are focusing on the individual self now at this time we have to understand what is the difference between universal self and what is the difference between uh, universal self and individual self vedantic philosophy believes that universal self is related with the environment which includes the non animate and animate objects but individual self for example when you start reading brahma sutra 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग द सांख्य निमांशा कठोपनिषद ऑल दीज आर स्क्रिप्चर फाउंड इन वेदांता and these are part of vedantic philosophy you see that they are no doubt discussing about the universal self also but they are more focusing on the individual self and individual self has been given much more importance in all the vedantic upanishad kathopanishad sankh and mimamsha each and every aspect of vedant considers individual into the main stream and all the suggestions all the actions all the attainment i mean uh, scripture is spiritual commitment all are considering individual into the perspective so what is the overall message of this vedantic philosophy in the perspective of self they all are focusing that it is the individual who is determinant or who is who can determine one's own spiritual development it is another fact for example there is very nice story found in upanishad uh, it is a story between it is a interaction rather interaction happening between nachiketa and yamraj i am not sure how many of you have gone through with this story of nachiketa and yamraj mm. this is very nice story which is focusing on the intellectual evolution of individual self where yamaraj gives instructions and shares the knowledge spiritual knowledge with with nachiketa only to address the individual self development of the nachiketa nachiketa is the son of a king who has been uh, i mean who has come to the yamaraj with this impression that yamaraj can give him some knowledge about the higher consciousness so again yamaraj instructs him that most of the things which are important in the individual uh, in the world for materialistic people are not only to be addressed as serious things or expensive material in the life but nachiketa listens yamaraj and receive this message that a spiritual attainment on the basis of certain intellectual talk and on the basis of certain rituals are much more important in the individual life for the development of self so all the vedantic scripture gives importance to the individual self or the personal self this personal self is very dynamic this personal self can be categorized into many layers for example personal self can also be related with the social aspect of our life personal self can also be related with the financial aspect of our life relationship aspect of our life so personal self is not only to be understood as personal rather personal self is dynamic which gets completed by including the social aspect financial aspect relationship aspect spiritual aspect all these things and vedantic philosophy also gives this message that in order to be one with consciousness in order to be one with higher consciousness and in order to be kind of if it is possible it is possible for many people but it is not possible for lots of people that in order to develop one's self it is always uh, important to pay a critical sight on one's actions and on one's thinking so self development according to vedantic philosophy also emphasizes to the development of ability where individual can critically evaluate one's own actions and thinking so just a, a glimpse of all vedantic philosophy i want to emphasize on this fact that self can be understood but it can, it should not be understood only considering the individual always into the center rather 
for a total understanding or holistic understanding of the self, environment should also be addressed equally. And after resolution of the problems related with the environment, then focus should be given on to the individual. Because why it is important to consider the environment equally? Because many of the time it happens that if you are ignoring certain very essential part of the environment which are related with yourself, then attainment of self will be incomplete because you are ignoring certain other essentialities of the environment. So many times you have to carry side by side other important aspect to understand the self. And in this context, uh, how many time, how much time do I have? Sir, this is a kind of discussion. So any kind uh, like now, okay, okay. After that then, I will then, request then I would, Dr. Manoj okay. and anyone in yeah, the group, yes, they yes, can yes, ask yes. any question. If they have some doubt, they want to ask something, uh, they uh, want to discuss something or they want to give some examples or comment. So that is open for that. So, so in this so, uh, in this context, I would like to take a halt mm -hmm. and I invite other uh, participants to come up with their ideas related to our discussion we are having and so because I, I would I think really like to encourage other people to participate right. ah, it should I, not be one monologue kind of thing okay, okay. So we, and I, I, if there are certain questions we can yes. I, I, yes, I mean some, I help someone them. raise I the hand them. that is uh, Veena Madam. yeah thank you thank you so much uh -huh. uh, sir uh, I'm Veena and I I am uh, really enjoying what you are saying Lalit sir um, I, I think I would like to hear an example when you said that, yes, uh, it is important to critically evaluate ourselves looking at the environment. Uh, can I have some example? Because uh, I'm also um, like in favor of critically evaluating myself. But when you say that, yeah. look at the environment first and then look at the self. Um, uh, in today morning only, I had a patient. And this patient is going through with health anxiety. Okay. He is having this impression that anything can happen to him from a physical point of view. He may have, uh, at any time, he may have cancerous kind of thing, uh, illness which are fatal to the uh, life of the any individual. Now, okay. this becomes very important to understand how ignorance of the environment can be a deterrent in the achievement of the personal development of personal self. <clears throat> when I had a discussion with this patient, I found that this patient do not want to take the risk in the life. <clears throat> Rather, this patient has a, this magical belief that things should not go worse ever. <clears throat> now, on the basis of your own experience, you tell me, is it really possible to imagine and expect for any individual that things should not go ever in worst case scenario? Is it possible for anyone to have such a life? No, sir. Naturally, it can go worse. Absolutely. I, I am no. with you. So, it so, can go worse. And, and what is his concern? Let me share this thing with you. His concern is that how will I survive if I lose my parents? Okay. He has this concern for his parents, but due to the dynamic events and thinking of this patient, this concern uh, for the death of his parents has now be been generalized in all his life's decisions and throughout his life. And the result is that his concern or the anxiety for death of his parents is now influencing each and every aspect of his relationship, actions, and all the sphere of the life. So right. that individual says that I want to get cured. <coughs> I want remedy for my symptoms. <coughs> but how can I do it? Then I gave this suggestion to him that you have to accept the other realities of your environment. That one day, our parents, our loved one will leave us. Ignoring these fatal realities of the life will leave us incomplete. 
<coughs> from the holistic perspective of self so this as an example through which we can understand the importance of inclusion of the environment in us and this information is also part of the environment so we yeah. cannot get cured by, uh, properly with this uh this state of mind where we are in not including the realities of the environment she you got it sir got it that's very yeah. useful thank you so much i think this example is very relevant one more thing that comes to my mind always is that uh, it is better for my parents to go away um, before i go away because if i as a child goes before the parents then that will be a big shock for them and that will be so very difficult for them to survive so i think it is always better that my parents go when the time comes and uh, then then the child goes uh, uh, so i this I this may be the example of normal people's thinking but reality might not be in sync right. with this thinking always right because it is you cannot determine that thing that will happen only so uh, and uh, in that case like uh, i have read like like book uh, that is based on the Ma ramana maharishi and uh, if you have heard uh, you can search also jo log nahi jaante ramana maharishi ha ramana maharishi ramana maharishi one of the most uh, i mean spiritually evolved person of his time hmm. okay. so he was be like before uh, independence he was there so he has a lot of uh, followers uh, but he has not given any written any books or something unhone sirf jo bola hai unke jo followers hain they have written it so this matlab when uh, when it was time jab unka death hone wale tha so uh, asked like people jo unke aas paas the followers se they ask ki uh, ab hum kaise rahenge aap to matlab agar aap chale jayenge aisa kuch hua to he said matlab uh, where can i go matlab it is because because in indian philosophy it is very common that we say they like, we are souls so we change bodies we we don't die our souls never die so that kind of thing is uh, there so they said so this very concept that we have discussed is because the biggest fear in life of anyone or in general in humanity is uh, ki uh, death ho jayegi that is the biggest fear we don't talk about it even in indian society we talk about it like we we have jokes also like jab bahut bude ho jate hain mujhe yaad hai ki bachpan mein ki dadi hain ya dada ji hamare hain to directly they ask ki kab aap maroge <laughs> so that kind that so we make joke of that so that is very uh, matlab healthy way to accepting uh, yeah. and some and we know also like agar koi 100 100 100 10 100 5 ka ho gaya unki death hoti hai to we celebrate it ki like yes. band baz aur sai that never happens in any culture so yeah. that is this is the this is not only ki hum aise hi kar rahe hain these are the things because we believe in reincarnation soul and all that and that 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 deals with like biggest anxiety is that ki uh, some day we will die or we will get older or something like that so uh, ye sari cheeze uh, jab hum is concept ko samajhte to wo anxiety that goes matlab wo usme help karta hai that is what my understanding is सो so, ये बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है और हमारे जो डे टू डे लाइफ के जो चीज़ें हैं हम अगर देखेंगे तो जैसे मैंने बताया कि हम लोग मजाक भी कर देते हैं जैसे डेथ को लेके है ना तो so, ये सारी चीज़ें क्या कहते हैं हमारे कल्चर में मिलती हैं और देट इज बेस्ड ऑन जैसा सर ने बोला कि वेद वेदांत इन पे सब पे बेस्ड है बिकॉज दैट कम्स फ्रॉम देयर ठीक है वो अब एक एक सोशली एक्सेप्टेड और जो अलग अलग कल्चर में अलग अलग तरीके से निकल के आता है तो वो रहता है सो इट वाज अ वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ललित सर दैट यू हैव गिवन एंड इफ समवन हैज एनी अदर क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क एंड नाउ आई आस्क लाइक मनोज सर आल्सो बिकॉज मनोज सर का जो बेस्ट है ही गिव्स एग्जांपल वेरी लाइट एग्जांपल टू लाइक Uh, is explain the any concept it, even in psychology i have he is a expert in neuropsychology actually so i have never seen uh, people like manoj sir jo uh, aisa lagta hai ki wo normal baat kar rahe hain aur aapko uh, neuropsychology padha dete hain jab students ko maine dekha hai inko padhate hue 
तो उसी तरीके से कोई भी कॉन्सेप्ट जो लाइफ का होता है या किसी डिसऑर्डर से रिलेटेड है या पेशेंट्स को एक्सप्लेन कर रहा है तो उस लेवल पे जाके समझाते हैं जो उनको समझ में आता है सो दैट इज द लाइक क्वालिटी ही हैज एंड एट स्पिरिचुअली आल्सो ही इज वेरी गुड टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट सो दिस दिस सो आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर मनोज Uh, to हिमांशु नवनी and sadha they these are the people you can ask any question yeah so um i would be happy to uh, answer if some kind of question has been uh, asked and or some kind of different kind of concept because self is uh, something which we everybody talk about hai na when we introduce our self myself so and so mm-hmm. is it the real self is it the actual self which we are talking about we every day we have so many self in our day to day life we are different with our parents sir there different. is there is one question from deepika yeah. patil yeah yeah yes yes please i think he, she raised the hand yes yeah good evening respected signatories here so just yes. would like to ask one question because i'm dealing with kids so i'm um this is a very uh, interesting topic we are talking upon one understanding oneself and we can uh, you know start with kids if they start understanding themselves then we can change the whole generation because it's a whole process yeah. uh, it cannot be done overnight maybe a life is not enough to understand oneself so yes. uh, my question is that Gujarat government has asked to inculcate Bhagavad Gita in the curriculum, sixth standard onwards. So, yes. what is your Atul sir is Dr. Vikas sir, Lalit sir, and uh, uh, so the other dignitaries. That what is your viewpoint upon this? Yeah, that's uh, I think uh, Vikas sir. so basically if uh, if i have to answer this question uh, i would say uh, i will not be going into that whether this is a good step or bad step with, uh, with it is politically motivated or some religion uh, perspective and all that uh, i don't uh, agree those kind of concepts but i i strongly believe that one of the philosophy of shrimad bhagavad gita is that there is a uh, that is based on 18 chapters and these 18 chapters has been described and has been uh, given this updesha by shri krishna uh, is some way relates with everybody everybody's life and whatever the life anybody is having in their uh, in this world they some way relate some of the aspect of those teachings and the question and the suffering and the situations arises anybody's life are quite uh, common and i think this is a summary of all the vedic uh, perspectives which has been uh, summarized in a very beautiful manner and has been uh, summarized in a very small 18 chapters this uh, this uh, we can say and the main theme of this I main the perspective mean uh, you can say that uh, kar- karm karo aur phal ki ichha mat karo and that has a basis and i think uh, many people will not be able to understand this this one particular statement karm karo phal ki ichha mat karo because we generally thinks it's not possible everything 
everything we are doing has some kind of uh, result and we are motivated and see the behavior therapy and the skinner proposed the reinforcement and reward mechanisms for operant behavior and operant conditioning since all we all are motivated and we are all reinforced by some or the other kind of results and consequences to perform another action right so this basic question also arises in the when uh, the shri krishna was uh, telling the arjuna and arjuna also raises some question that you are saying karm karo phal ki ichha mat karo means hame karm karne ki zarurat hi nahi phir agar phal ki wajah se hame dobara janm lena padega aur dobara se hame wo sare kaam karne padenge to iska matlab hame karm karne ki avashyakta hi nahi hai to hum karm hi na kare koi bhi insaan karm bhi nahi karega to unhone kaha ki you cannot choice in consequences but you can choice in what type of karm you want you can do because because in this body you have to work you have to breath you have to take breath you have to smell you have to uh, sleep you have to wake up these all are action man karm vachan all everything you will be doing you cannot be uh, living without karma so your specific question that whether shri mad bhagavat gita uh, can be a good step or can be a better step in teaching to the children of 6 year of age 6 uh, standard and onwards i think that particular age is sufi well sufficient enough where we can start these kind of things because according to piaget if you see uh, at the age of uh, cognitive development this is a stage where the children of 10 years or 11 or 12 year old children start developing the hypotheses and testing them mm-hmm. this is a basically reasonably good state stage where anybody can think starting uh, start thinking in a rational way if they have a opportunity to understand if they have been given a opportunity to uh listen to these kind of uh, shri mad bhagavad gita with specific kind of examples to daily life problems or daily life issues how to resolve and how to uh, develop a rationalized thinking right so this can inculcate in a very good way if if that is been given in a particularly particularly in a very demonstrable manner no right rather than in just story forms demonstrative yeah, story uh, form some kind of examples like in moral nethik shiksha we used to have there is a lot of debate every time that nethik shiksha is uh, has to be a compulsory subject and all that but i think shri mad bad bhagavat gita has answer to all the queries of our day our life so if they start accepting they start understanding these concepts of sri mad bhagavad gita and according to the demonstrable and a very pictureization form and in a story form they will be much better able to handle the daily life issues and they can become a more productive more you can say emotion wise if you understand we have lot of emotional issues nowadays anger issues are very much high depressive issues are also very high i i strongly believe that more than 60 to 70% of the emotional issues can be in in that generation when they develop become uh, grown up and they become adult that can be minimized so that kind of potential is this uh, bhagavad gita is having but certainly we need to uh, deliver in a way that this reaches to the the child mind in a way that they develop some kind of uh, you know Unless- problem solving skill solution focus skills and they have a rationalized thinking and they have a you know karm karo phal ki ichha mat karo means karm karne ke sath mein aasakti aasakti means attachment mat develop karo uske sath so you do your responsibilities do your duties you do your karma but you will not be affected much because of the results so you are doing your duty in a better manner so that will lead to a very healthy atmosphere very healthy generation and uh, cognitive development of the children they, when they grown up they become a very fruitful person so i think particularly answering to this question that is a very good step but 
again that has to be delivered in a way that that this helps them developing a very good human being able to handle their emotions behaviors thinking process right right so i uh, actually uh, uh, as you said it is very uh, right like geeta has most of the answers like we uh, we ask for or we face a different kind of problems so as you said ki karm karo aur phal ki ichha nahi karni hai to that is wo ye sirf ek sentence hai jab aap usko padhte hain to bahut detail mein uske bare mein baatein hai ki kya hai karm kya hai akarm kya hai na chahte hue bhi aapko karna padega karm so ये बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जब उसकी डिटेल में आप जाते हो हर एक चीज आप यहाँ नहीं डिस्कस करते तो जब हम उसकी डिटेल में जाते हैं तो डेफिनेटली क्या कहते हैं हमें उसके बारे में और बेहतर तरीके से जानने को समझना आता है मे बी सम अदर टाइम जनरलाइज डिस्कशन टॉपिक कैसे होता है very psychologically sound है और बहुत जितने भी लाइफ के आपके आंसर्स हैं ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवन विल गेट आंसर्ड देयर सो ये एक बहुत ही अच्छा मतलब यू यू वांट कैन रीड इट हां यस यस कैन आई आल्सो कमेंट ऑन दिस यस श्योर श्योर सो आई नीड योर कमेंट एज वेल एज डॉक्टर विकास का भी व्यू जानना चाहूंगा क्योंकि ही इज बिहेवियरिस्ट ही इज मोर वर्क ऑन लाइक बिहेवियर थेरेपी एंड ऑल so he can also relate very ji 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 vikas sir aap aap apne views rakhe fir uske baad thoda sa ek different aspect hai main usko touch karna chahunga theek hai aur kisi ka koi question hai to ya comment hai aap beech mein definitely puchiye and himanshu agar kuch hai to aap baat kar sakte hain shraddha navni okay okay thank pc psychology psychology has progressed from to make it more scientific like uh, we started uh, uh, focusing on sir your voice is breaking sir your voice is breaking i think there is some network issue okay okay now hello No sir, it, it is it is breaking between. It is not clear, sir. Hello, is it okay now? Huh? Now better it is okay. Before. Better than before. Okay, so close your video. We, I mean, switch off your video, so it will work. I think network is slow. Yes, 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 sir. so i just wish to say that psychology has developed from philosophy which is much deeper and the attempts were made to make it more scientific uh, in nature right but science has its own limitations like uh, we cannot study anything which we cannot observe and that is why maybe the behavior therapy uh, became so popular right even in even when we do cognitive therapy or cognitive therapy there also we are talking about uh in doing empirical studies or doing empirical work or showing that the results we uh, we can see the results right objectively so i think there is there are more both aspects in psychology the objective aspect and the subjective aspect the question raised by uh, deepika ji is very relevant that should we teach the moral values or other things to the children i think it is very important to teach the moral values right we have as a society we have created the contingencies in the environment which uh, reward the good behavior and which discourage the uh, say unproductive behavior or uh, dysfunctional behaviors but at the same time we need general guidelines about what ought to be done and should not be done 
so for that this aspect of morality is very important see when we are talking about self to understand self it's very difficult because it is a very broad concept as highlighted by uh, lalit sir when he was talking about the self how to define self the very definition of self in fact i think is very difficult so is it possible to break the self into uh, some constituents and then trying to understand that i think psychology is doing that only we are trying to break the self in different components and then we are trying to study them but ultimately we need to integrate everything so that we know what is self and this integration is slowly happening in psychology now we are further going towards philosophy philosophical aspects you just see the progression we started with behavior therapy maybe psychoanalysis before behavior therapy then cognitive therapy and now we are talking about mindfulness and spiritual based approaches right. and now attempts are to integrate the mindfulness with the traditional aspects of cognitive therapy so why this integration is important or required at this stage because we have understood that there is something which which is not complete and to make it complete we need to integrate we need to bring, uh, bring in the new, some some aspects okay which may be broader which may not be so called very scientific but still they are required to understand the self so slowly we are moving away from simple experiments then to the social experiments and then maybe more and more introspection so this is the progression right right very well defined uh, vikas sir ki how we are moving from where we have started right so uh, and when we uh, read or we uh, like go through our these uh, Uh, Gita, Ved, and Vedans, and there also we see they they talk about holistic thing, experiences how to uh, like uh, reach that state or peaceful stage or how we can understand ourselves. That also help us, and I think there is a lot of uh, like things that can be done based on uh, those uh, concepts. Like people are working nowadays, like. recently uh, manoj sir has like given me the journal their indian association of uh, clinical psychology ka hi journal tha jo aapne mujhe diya ki jisme uh, sari indian concepts pe hi research the isse pehle bhi uh, mere paas kai books maine kyunki mera interest hai to maine uh, le rakhi hain and that i shared with uh, intensive group mein jo log hain unke sath bhi share kiya tha hamari website karein so we are working on uh, that yes lalit sir you wanted to say something ji 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 and before that i i last uh, ki agar kisi ka koi question hai जी, kuch aap puchna chahte hain to discuss kar sakte hain himanshu uh, ji kuch hai ji 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 navni nikhil anything sir, related to ha boli hai thoda kuch but abhi confused hu to main i think main thoda wait kar raha hu ki cheeze clear hone ke baad hi main puchu we all are confused विकास सर ने भी बताया की हम उसको पार्ट में न डिवाइड करके ही चीजों को रिजोल्व कर रहे हैं तो जब कभी भी कोई प्रॉब्लम आती है हम एक प्रॉब्लम को फील करते हैं देन अगर हम उस पर वर्क करते हैं सेल्फ जो आप इम्प्रूव करते हो देन अगेन कोई ना कोई सेकेंडरी कोई ऐसी चीज आ जाती है जिससे आपको फिर ऐसा लगता है कि नहीं नहीं ये नहीं ये ज्यादा जरूरी है तो आई थिंक उसमें बहुत ज्यादा कंफ्यूजन हो जाती है सर की इम्प्रूवमेंट किस फील्ड में हमें ज्यादा करनी चाहिए अपने ऊपर ओके ठीक है निखिल जी सर एक्चुअली आई जस्ट ज्वाइन तो मेरे को थोड़ा मैं भी लिंक पे नहीं हूँ मैं तो बस ये रिक्वेस्ट करना चाह रहा था प्लीज आप ना वीडियो शेयर कर दीजिएगा सो दैट टुनाइट आई कैन वॉच इट ओके दैट दैट एनी सर आई वाज रीडिंग अबाउट विंसन चर्चिल एंड आई वाज रीडिंग दैट ही वाज अ बाइपोलर पर्सन एंड हाउ द बाइपोलर थिंग हेल्प्ड हिम टू बिकम सच अ बिग लीडर 
सो एनी वे दैट्स नॉट कोरिलेटिंग बट आई वाज जस्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू टेल यू के विंसन चर्चिल के मैं पढ़ रहा था सर मैं ओके ठीक है आप वीना जी आप कुछ बोल रहे थे नहीं मैं जस्ट कह रही थी कि हिमांशु की क्वेश्चंस आई थिंक बहुत ही रेलेवेंट है और वो कंफ्यूजन अगर हम मिटा सकते हैं तो बहुत अच्छा होगा एंड हिमांशु अगर हम तुम्हें देख भी धर सकते हैं तो बहुत ही अच्छा होता थैंक यू बस मुझे यही कहना था थैंक यू ओके नवनी एनी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज सर आई वांट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन सर आई वांट टू आस्क वन पर्सनल क्वेश्चन सर व्हेनेवर द थिंग्स आर नॉट हैपनिंग बाय माय वे uh i get very irritated uh and i get very upset mm-hmm. for some time after some time uh, uh i resume myself but i need to work on it so how can i how should i proceed for it okay so uh, this is the question from navni so lalit sir vikas sir manoj sir anyone can answer or ask uh, if some more information is required from uh navni and shraddha you can also ask the question okay so navni you said that there are cert- some times or some events in your day to day life when you becomes disturb the the uh, events around you the people around you or the condition around you become such that uh, it it is starts disturbing you is it so uh, yes sir yes sir yeah. so uh, i mean uh, this question is very common question and uh, most of people who are disturbed will have such kind of question and the answer is also very simple like uh, when i shared my example that the person who was having uh, health anxiety back in the mind has this impression that things should not go worst ever or most of the time life should be beautiful the same message i would also and i reminded him with this to the fact that magical thinking cannot follow individuals satisfaction throughout <coughs> individual ka satisfaction alag kuch hota hai aur magical thinking kuch alag hota hai so in order to stay well in touch with the connectivity or the reality around us we should always be very much alert and critical Uh, to our expectations our wishes <coughs> our desires and our capabilities because we become disturb only when either situation is not as per our expectation or our coping skills are inferior against the reality you can only be happy you can only be comfortable or at ease if situation is according to you or you are converting yourself as per the reality so you know in in response to your question uh, my message is for you is that please see are your demands are genuine are you expecting things within appropriate ratio are you really <coughs> having enough strength and capabilities to fulfill your desires can you convert <coughs> conditions in your favor if this is true then you should try to think on these parameter if you think that you cannot change the situation then you should have another option if you think that your coping system is not that much powerful then my suggestion would be is start strengthening your coping system if you think and critically know that your demands are unjustified then try to minimize try try to compromise with your demands because if you cannot change the things if you cannot strengthen your caliber or potential there are high chances that you may be disturbed people can disturb you and in fact this is half truth that people can dif- disturb you people can really not disturb you till you wish till you allow isn't it can you understand this thing uh yes sir okay people can only disturb us when we allow them to disturb us so uh in order to 
function well with the environment in order to function well with us we need to be critically intelligent critically alert to check our expectation if these are healthy or unhealthy i mean our mind should be that much powerful enough which can tell us what are the desires which are justified what are the expectation which are okay what are the uh, wishes which are not justified and it happens so very easily that in in in, in living the life we often forgets the critical ability of our mind we just start following our desires without con- realizing the consequences so try to have a check on the authenticity of your wishes does it make sense uh, yes sir manoj sir uh, manoj sir has gone out sir there are certain Hello. atul sir there are certain uh, messages in the chat box if you can okay okay i i check expectations ha yes. vikas sir you want to add on something Unknown yes, yes. Ravni, okay. uh, Ravni has raised a very uh, pertinent question. I think uh, okay. that we get right. disturbed by so many things, by others' behavior and things like that. I think uh, uh, we are not disturbed by what other people are doing, but we are disturbed because we think that we, they are disturbing us, right? So the, our thought, how we are thinking, what kind of thoughts we are. having about particular situation makes our, makes us happy and or unhappy right here i would like to ask one question uh, to all the participants how many of you have is your hands your, what, can you repeat your question how many of the participants have problems can they raise their hands everyone has sir meet everyone has i have raised we we all have problems sir right we all have problems and how many of you want to get rid of those problems everyone i think we all want to get rid of the problems so this is only possible when we when we are dead <laughs> right so I life would... in fact i would say that what is happiness happiness is the balance of positive and negative emotions it's not that we are always having cheerful always happy that uh, then the life is positive it's not like that the experiences the negative experiences tells gives us the difference like what is the difference between happy to be happy and to be sad so the feelings of sadness are as important as the feelings of happiness but because how will you experience happiness if you do not have sadness right so this is the reality of life and in fact we all try to strive a balance between the negative and the positive emotions and if we are able to do that then we are happy right this is a uh, just uh, just my perspective on what uh, uh, navni has asked but her question was very specific and she said that so many things happening around and making us disturb so see sometimes our intelligence is against us like right? human beings are so intelligent that their intelligence sometimes their intelligence is against their own uh, good will right if you see an animals hey is able to escape say deer is able to escape from uh, lion then the animal will free from everything but human beings will keep on thinking about that what happened oh they will be terrified maybe for days like we all see in ptsd post traumatic stress disorder everything is the event has already happened but it's still the people is having vivid painful memories of those events why because our co- cognitive our cog- uh, the system nervous system is so complex it creates its own realities and that may be different from the what is happening outside 
so i will say that the to understand a human mind is like understanding a universe i read long time back when i was just a maybe undergrad student in coleman where in coleman compared the human brain with the universe like the universe has ultimate frontier similarly human mind so what we are thinking may not be necessarily be true this right. point like is very important right and, and when we are in distress when we are in distress there is a negative bias there is a negative cognitive bias which makes us feel miserable so even if good things are happening we are not able to take cognizance of good things but mostly we uh, we look uh, at the at the negative things bad things which are there so that is why even in our uh, hindu this uh, indian psychology we talk about accepting everything whatever is there whether it is bad or good right so that you can experience both goodness and badness and not just the badness or not just the goodness right right i have atul sir uh, okay ha ah, manoj sir uh, i uh, i have a different perspective on it mm. so there was a question that how to be happy mm. most, all the time mm. and i think uh, this uh, desire being remaining happy most of the time right itself is a illusion <laughs> right yeah it's not reality based and even none of the emotion even the depression even the anxiety even the anger even the happiness this all will not stay for for longer and forever that will keep on changing depending on the situation circumstances thinking process life events and all that so what i think is that uh, rather than playing like a pendulum from one emotion to another emotion another emotion to third emotion third to fourth emotion why don't we strive for a balancing of emotion rather than looking for a happiness only why we are so eager to develop happiness what is there in happiness so this is also emotional state and these all emotional state are very very relevant to our circumstances and situations and we use it in a different way so what i believe is that we need to develop a balanced state of mind rather than fluctuating from one state to another state so to achieve that balanced state of mind if you look at the gita philosophy where you have to do your responsibility you have to work for your uh, all these things and uh, everyday issues and all that but at the same time you are not getting attached to the consequences like karm karo phal ki icha mat karo means it's not so simple but uh, it can help you when you when you appear in a exam and if you think about the result before appearing in the exam you will develop, develop a examination stress or examination anxiety that whether you will be able to clear it or not if you think in other way that i have to give my best whatever i know i will deliver right i will write i will attempt rest is the future if that will come we'll see that time so i will give my best that's my duty and that is my responsibility i'll do it that's it if we i start thinking it beforehand that what will be the consequences and considering those Uh, mostly we are tends to have a negative thinking and negative consequences of all the events what, what or the life situations we go through so we are very very much programmed in that way because from the childhood only we the negative uh, consequences or the negative aspects are very much rewarded or attended by everybody surrounding us right so balancing of emotion is a very important phenomena for anybody's life and that can be achieved through knowing who i am right right so who i am is the basic question who i am and now the answer lies in vedantic perspective differently dvaitvad mm-hmm. advaitvad or sankhya 
they explained it very beautifully in a different way mm. and every every philosophy every philo- uh, indian scripture in that way vedantic perspective are very much relevant in making them people understand mm. and like marasi ramana reference has come when you were talking about uh, marasi ramana mm. and who his all his his own life how mm. he discovered it he was a young boy mm. he was just 13 or 13 year old boy mm. when he discovered this thing he analyzed all these things and he found that everything which we are now looking at so this is just useless he rarely talks about uh, lo- talks with the people he just stay calm don't re- interact with much with people there are limited uh, videos or limited interaction you will find with him and, and the people those who cup keep on coming to him and co- uh, putting questions to him and he just answers in very small sentences mm-hmm. he don't give long answers he don't he just give the simple answer if you can go through the youtube video uh, there is a first video there 28 questions has been answered by him but it is in a different uh, voice but it is written but it is given in a capsule form in the youtube so you will just find a answer uh, simple answers he put forward the answer in a very simple way and you do not have next thought out uh, after that mm, you right. will get the essence of it right mm. so it means somewhere we have to not to be fluctuating in emotionals emotions mm. we have to balance our emotions although it is also a philosophy that uh, uh, this emotions are uh, you can a basic nature of a human being now artificial intelligence and robotic uh, work which is been going on ai and other things they are trying to put the feelings in those robots and these robots are they are very much close to that that they start feeling like a human being and they react like a human being right so so that the people those uh, those who are not getting caregivers in their family and those who are not being cared properly or they are alone they can help take the help of those robots they, so that they can feel attached and they feel better with them but ultimately where we are heading we are not heading to self realization we are heading towards other as other side and now i have realized now we have been studying psychology from last 20 years in fact and now i have realized the whatever studies whatever psychology we have learned and we have read in last 20 25 years that is just stay like oont ke muh mein jeera and uh, that jeera means we have been so much given westernized uh, science and we are we, we are very much uh, you can being taught aap ye samajh lo ki jitna bhi hame psychology padhai gayi hai wo पूरी जो हमारी जो इंडियन नॉलेज है इंडियन माइथोलॉजी uh, और जो भी हमारा स्क्रिप्चर है वेदांतिक वो है उसका वो एक परसेंट भी नहीं है जितनी भी साइकोलॉजी हम पढ़ते हैं और जितनी भी एग्जिस्टिंग है आज के दिन भी जितनी भी साइकोलॉजी की रिसर्च एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन सब कुछ जो भी थ्योरी सब कुछ भी है दे आर नॉट इवन वन परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नॉलेज ऑफ विच विच वी हैव एज ए इंडियन इन इंडियन स्क्रिप्चर इन वेदांत right so we have the answer we have thousands of years of legacy and we have knowledge base that we have answer to have each and everything now in 25 saalon mein hame jo psychology padhi wo mujhe aaj irrelevant lag rahi hai kyun lag rahi hai kyunki mere paas aaj bhi un sari samasyaon ke hal nahi hai jo jo hamare indian scripture mein aasani se mil jata hai right 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 and now mujhe ye lagta hai ki साइकोलॉजी जो है कहीं ना कहीं हमने बड़ी लिमिटेड और हमें जो साइकोलॉजी पढ़ाई गई है वो इंडियन साइकोलॉजी नहीं पढ़ाई गई नहीं हमें वो वेस्टर्न साइकोलॉजी पढ़ाई है हम जितनी भी किताबें पढ़ी हैं कोई मैं गारंटी के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि जितने भी साइकोलॉजी के स्टूडेंट हैं 99% वो फॉरन की किताबें पढ़ते हैं फॉरन थ्योरिस्ट है फॉरन का सारा कुछ है वेस्टर्न है जबकि हमारे पास इतना साउंड नॉलेज बेस है इंडियन उसमें वेदांतिक उसमें 
हम उसको फॉलो नहीं करते हैं वो फॉलो करते हैं हमारा कुछ एक परसेंट चीज किसी चीज को उठाते हैं अपनी टर्मिनोलॉजी के साथ में उसको प्रेजेंट करते हैं एंड वी स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग दैम लाइक माइंडफुलनेस इट इज बेसिकली एशियन परस्पेक्टिव एशियन एंड इंडियन डेवलपमेंट बट सम पीपल पिकड अप इन ए कॉम्पोनेंट पुट इट इन ए वे रोट रोट ए बुक अबाउट इट एक्सप्लेन इन ए वे दैट वी are very fond of using mindfulness now <laughs> it is been in the western literature right right, right. so we we are very much unaware about our indian systems and indian uh, psychotherapy systems so like jung psychoanalysis they are very 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 limited explanations we, they they we, are at are one very superficial level we can say, uh -huh. say they are at because in like uh, you complete it then i i am yeah. continuing more we go into deep of indian vedantic perspective you will realize this is also again a realization right right so i am a psychology student i am studying psychology i am teaching psychology i am in to field from last 25 years right but still i have this idea now i am realizing that what we have not read which was very much relevant and we were superficially just reading it for the exam purposes and all that mm -hmm. but now it has so much of so much of knowledge which the whole world is eager to follow hmm. right to like everybody is coming that. to india everybody yeah. is now like who is aware like they are seeking something they are coming to india and uh, they are discovering many things and they are realizing those things and as you said आई थिंक जितने भी आप हैं ललित जी हैं विकास सर हैं हम सारे लोगों के साथ यही हुआ है बिकॉज फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज वी आर फ्रॉम द सेम बैचेज एंड प्लस बिफोर दैट वी हैव स्टडी टेन ईयर्स राइट तो ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स के बाद एंड हमेशा ही कहीं ना कहीं लाइक वी फेल्ट देर इज सम लैग इट इज नॉट वर्किंग when we are working with the clients right we are doing cbts we are trained in that we are doing uh, like uh, whatever we are doing like psychoanalysis or assessment or anything so we had well at least i had that feeling you also said the same thing ki there is something missing when we, we we like started reading about these things i i know ki when i was in like mphil only to wahan pe mujhe ek indian psychology pe ek uh, seminar karne ko mila from that point of view we started reading with again because that is the requirement of job and work so we again started doing all those things so now mm -hmm. we again started uh, that few things now so ye rehta hai so ye jo aapne bola that is because we are so complete our knowledge is so complete in vedantic knowledge what or gita ji sara usi ke andar aata hai so that is very complete when you read that then you can understand as i said like as like dr vikas and uh, everyone atul was atul sir atul sir hmm जब से ये पढ़ना शुरू किया है और पढ़ने के बाद में इसको हमने अपने पेशेंट्स के साथ अप्लाई किया ना वो इतना इफेक्टिव हो रहा है इतना इतना यूजफुल हो रहा है वो कि आई कॉन्ट टेल यू यस इट इज वेरी आई एम आई एम ब्लेस्ड विद दैट नॉलेज आई फील वेरी लिमिटेड नॉलेज आई एम है you can be confident in dealing their issues and they are very much amenable and they are responding hmm. because that so, is there because we are from the same culture that context because when we are using western psychology we are that context is missing missing as i hmm. when i was discussing with veena ji that 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 that, that is what i to tell ki hamare yahan ki we don't fear about death we know that theek hai uncertain deaths hoti hain there are something so we don't we, we we have read that it is it is kind of like changing the body so that that your immediately your anxiety become less so, so these are the things so we on these concept us from like uh, vedantic knowledge that we have so that that these are things and another, another thing i want to add and then i'll take questions from deepika and there is himanshu also तो उनका भी क्वेश्चन है तो वी टेक दैट बिकॉज़ वी हैव लिमिटेड टाइम तो एक चीज जो बताया था कि बैलेंसिंग ऑफ इमोशंस की जो बात की थी सो इन आवर आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू द दैट डिटेल बट इन आवर स्क्रिप्चर्स वी टॉक अबाउट कि भाई व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेल्फ रियल मतलब सेल्फ अबाउट सेल्फ जो रियल सेल्फ की हम बात करते हैं ट्रू सेल्फ की बात करते हैं वो सारी चीजें तो दे से कि जो क्या कहते हैं 
हैप्पीनेस है या सैडनेस है गीता में भी यही लिखा हुआ है कि यू शुड नॉट बिकॉज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट एटलीस्ट आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू दैट मतलब आई एम एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज बिकॉज आई एम रीडिंग इट बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू कैन नॉट डू बट आई बट नाउ आई फील आफ्टर सम टाइम नाउ आई फील की देर आर वेरी माइन्यूट चेंजेस बट not at uh, expectations ki jo baat aati hai bhai i am not able to do that so the thing is they say ki remain because when you are not attached to the result so it means they are also saying don't get affected by in not even happiness or sadness because you are not that they are temporary things hai na i will also suggest there are very small books for like like new people who want to read it uh, i just started reading Uh, completed three four books only uh, that is uh, so the person is sukhdev verde so uh, that you can find out on uh, like um, amazon i was I, i was reading on kindle so i it is available on amazon i don't know hard copy is available or not i so that you can so there is a series of and very simple language uh, so for beginning with that is a very good thing you as manoj sir said लाइक रमन्ना महारिषि का जो क्वेश्चन आंसर्स हैं दैट यू कैन टेक सो दिस आर द फ्यू थिंग्स सो बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ वेरी वास्ट टॉपिक सो वी कैन टेक फर्दर इंफॉर्मेशन ऐड करना है इसमें हां सर ब्रीफली यू कैन ऐड देन वी विल टेक द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दी कैन आंसर ये जो अभी आपने एक सवाल उठाया कि अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सेल्फ वैसे तो ये बहुत ही कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक है लेकिन हम रमन्ना महर्षि के जो कुछ व्यूज हैं उनके द्वारा इसको बड़ी आसानी से समझ सकते हैं जैसे कि जिन लोगों ने भी इसको समझा है अगर रमन्ना महर्षि को पढ़ा है तो रमन्ना महर्षि जी ने तीन चार स्टेट की बात करी है स्लीपनेस डीप स्लीप ड्रीम कॉन्सियसनेस और एक जो सबसे फाइनल स्टेज है तुरिया स्टेट या तुरियावस्था तो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सेल्फ इज ओनली कंप्लीटेड when you have realized that conscious state deep sleep state and dream state are not the permanent state of being right and if you realize that if i am conscious and i am experiencing something it is only a momentary thing mm. if i am having a dream <coughs> and i had some pleasant or unpleasant dream and i know that it was only a transitory state mm. and if i was in sleep and i know that whatever i kind of sleep i had that is also not permanent reality or permanent being so realization of this truth that conscious state dream state and uh, sleepless uh, deep sleep state are only the uh, transitory state of individuals being and when you realize this thing automatically you are shifted to another state of mind that is known as turiya state mm. so best understanding of self is possible via ramana marti views the understanding of the turiya state ye mera ek view tha okay right so ha uh, now i take the first question from himanshu himanshu was asking some question so because we were discussing so we were not able to take then deepika can ask the questions बताइए हिमांशु सर जैसे ललित सर ने भी पहले भी बताया था आ, कि नवनी को कि मतलब जो मेन इश्यूज बनते हैं वो आई थिंक खुद की थॉट से क्रिएट होते हैं वो बाहर क्या चल रहा है क्या नहीं उससे नहीं बनते बिल्कुल उनसे प्रॉब्लम नहीं होती आपको प्रॉब्लम होती है बट सर जैसे एज एन ह्यूमन बींग एक सोशल बींग पर्सन है तो वो Uh, सारी चीज बचपन से एंड अब तक भी uh, सब सोशल चीजों से सीखता है जो भी आपका एनवायरनमेंट होता है जो भी चीजें होती है एनवायरनमेंट से सीखता है बट इन uh, हम ये चीज कैसे कर सकते हैं क्योंकि हम लोग जो भी को भी प्रॉब्लम होती है या कोई अच्छी चीज होती है सब कुछ हम एनवायरनमेंट से सीखते हैं अब किसी को किसी के एनवायरमेंट में बचपन से प्रॉब्लम है किसी के हो सकता है कि बाद में प्रॉब्लम आनी शुरू हुई तो सारी चीजें उसको एनवायरमेंट से हो रही है बट वो खुद को ऐसा कैसे ट्रेन करे कि वो अपने थॉट से सॉल्यूशंस निकाले मतलब अपने आप से सॉल्यूशंस निकाले बिकॉज़ right. हर चीज तो उसने सीखी है वो अपने बाहर से सीखी है बिल्कुल 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 तो इसमें क्या मुझे चीज मैं ऐड करता हूँ फिर मैं ललित जी को देता हूँ क्वेश्चन ये तो बिकॉज देखो एक तो ये है बिकॉज सिंस बिगनिंग सिंस चाइल्ड हुड वी लाइक आवर पेरेंट्स कंडीशन ये करोगे तो ये अच्छा होगा ऐसा होगा ऐसा होगा सो 
after some time when they don't have any control we start thinking like that so this that we call conditioning so wo conditioning bachpan se hamari aise hi hoti hai ki uh, and we realize ki bhai 10th pass kar loge to tum bahut ho jayega job mil jayegi to aur acha ho jayega and that kind of thing happens so that recondition that is why it is very difficult thing so that reconditioning is required जब वेदांत और वेद की बात आप करते हैं या पढ़ते हैं जब इन चीजों के बारे में दैट इज बेसिकली रिकंडीशनिंग गोइंग टू द प्योरेस्ट फॉर्म लाइक व्हाट इज रियल सेल्फ सो यस एज यू सेट कि हमने ऐसा सीखा है बिल्कुल हमने ऐसा सीखा होता है एंड इट इज नॉट इजी टू कम आउट ऑफ दैट सो दैट इज वन एंड देन ललित ललित सर यू कैन जी 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 ये बहुत ही देखिए बहुत ही मतलब महत्वपूर्ण बात है और महत्वपूर्ण सवाल है कि हम सीखते तो सब कुछ अपने वातावरण से ही हैं और एक बार जब हम सीख चुके हैं तो हम ये कैसे पता लगाएं कि हमने जो सीखा था वो जरूर मतलब मीनिंगफुल था या वो फॉल्टी था तो इसके बारे में मैं एक ही बात बोलूंगा कि जब तक हम छोटे होते हैं तो हम अपने माँ बाप की उंगली पकड़ के चलते हैं क्योंकि हमें डर लगता है कि कहीं हम गिर ना जाए जैसे मेरी डेढ़ साल की बिटिया है वो जब सड़क पे चलती है तो भले ही वो गिरे ना लेकिन मेरी उंगली पकड़ के चलती है लेकिन आपको ये भी पता होगा कि छोटा बच्चा जब दस बारह साल का होता है तो उंगली पकड़ के चलना वो छोड़ देता है मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि यही वो समय होता है जब हम गलती कर बैठते हैं हमको इतना कॉन्फिडेंट कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है कि हमने जो सीखा है ये अल्टीमेट है क्वेश्चन करते हैं बट आफ्टर हम कभी अपने सीखे हुए पे एक सस्पीसियसनेस की नजर रखते ही नहीं है कुछ समय बाद एक मिनट रुकिएगा तो ये जो सवाल है कि जो हमने सीखा है वातावरण से सीखा है इस ये सही है कि नहीं इसके लिए मेरा सजेशन यही है कि वी शुड ऑलवेज हैव ए क्वेश्चन ऑन व्हाट वी हैव लर्न हमें ये नहीं मान लेना चाहिए कि जो हमने सीखा है यह बिल्कुल शुद्ध है और इसके ऊपर और कुछ सीखा ही नहीं जा सकता प्रॉब्लम तो भी आती है जब हम ये मान लेते हैं हमने जो सीख लिया ये सही है अब हमें और कुछ सीखने की जरूरत नहीं है अब सवाल आता है कि निजी जिंदगी में इस रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी में ऐसा कैसे किया जाए तो इसी तरह के मुद्दों के ऊपर जो ये सेल्फ इंक्वायरी का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है कि आप तो सर, इसमें एक बीच में बोलना चाहूंगा सॉरी इसके लिए अगर आप जैसे बता रहे हो कि अगर हम खुद के ऊपर अगर क्वेश्चन करेंगे कि ठीक है आपने ये चीज सीखी क्या ये सही है अगर क्वेश्चन करते हैं तो इससे कहीं हमारे पास एक सेल्फ डाउट की जो चीजें होती हैं वो आएगी नहीं बिकॉज सेल्फ डाउट एक बहुत बड़ा फेलियर है आज के टाइम में नहीं 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 इसमें आपको थोड़ा सा समझना पड़ेगा सेल्फ डाउट इज नॉट ए फेलियर राधर सेल्फ डाउट तो आपके साहस की पराकाष्ठा का एक प्रयास है आप इतने साहसी है कि आप अपने खुद के निर्णय पे उंगली उठाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बस ध्यान ये रखना चाहिए इस तरह से उंगली उठाने से मेरा ग्रोथ हो रही है कि मैं रिवर्ट बैक जा रहा हूँ रिग्रेशन में हो रहा है कई बार जब आप खुद से सवाल जवाब करते हो तो आपको कुछ कंसल्टेशन की जरूरत पड़ती है और ये कंसल्टेशन किसी भी एक अच्छे दोस्त से अच्छे काउंसलर से अच्छे गाइड से अच्छे मास्टर से लिए जा सकते हैं जितने भी हमारे आध्यात्मिक गुरु हुए हैं उन्होंने जरूर अपना एक मास्टर बनाया है उन्होंने अपना एक गुरु बनाया है जिसके साथ वो सेल्फ इंक्वायरी से जुड़े हुए सवाल जवाब करते थे यहाँ पे सेल्फ डाउट का मतलब जो इन जनरल हम बात करते हैं उसकी बात नहीं है सेल्फ डाउट का मतलब What you are thinking, what you are feeling, क्यों कर रहे हैं मतलब दैट अगर हम दूसरे वर्ड में दैट इज इंट्रोस्पेक्शन काइंड ऑफ थिंग इंट्रोस्पेक्शन इज द राइट वर्ड सेल्फ डाउट थोड़ा नेगेटिवली उसमें चला जाता है जब हम वर्ड बोलते हैं इसमें एक और चीज है जो मैं बताना चाहता हूँ सबको सेल्फ डाउट का मतलब अपनी खुद की अपनी खुद की महत्ता कम करने से नहीं है सेल्फ डाउट का मतलब सेल्फ डाउट का उद्देश्य ही होता है अपने अंदर निरंतर सुधार लाते रहना अच्छा और कैसे और क्या बेहतर कर सकते हैं और क्या कमी रह गई चलो इसको और अच्छे करते हैं सेल्फ डाउट से ये मतलब होता है सेल्फ इंक्वायरी जिसे कहते हैं हाँ इंक्वायरी इज द राइट व्हेन वी टॉक स्टे से लाइक सेल्फ डाउट तो समटाइम समटाइम कैम इट इट इज इट हैव नेगेटिव कोनोटेशन सो दीपिका मैडम हैज वन क्वेश्चन आई हैड क्वेश्चन सी रेज द सो यू कैन आस्क नाउ आई थिंक डिस्कशन तो खत्म ही नहीं होने वाला है दिस इज 
Haan, nahin, that is why we are, we are closing it. it. If <laughs> because... time permits, then only I would ask a question because we have. No, no. It uh, is. A, uh, you, you can ask one question. We have two, three minutes, so nine o'clock will bind up. So it's um, like from the talk, what I have gained, uh, like lots of knowledge. Thank you so much for answering my question, and I have learned number of things from uh, the discussion which has been held. So only one thing that uh, we're already even so uh, as uh, Vikas first said. that we are already um, on the way of integrating different mode of learning like uh, spirituality or psychology we have started with value education mindfulness life skills etc and the same has been introduced uh, at college level also so uh, can you just guide me because uh, i'm working on the pd syllabus uh, dealing with the uh, secondary students 11 so 12 students and in this personality development uh, like uh, till now we have used different theories like johari window what what analysis etc so i was thinking to introduce something from the spiritual aspect and um, i started uh, with this uh, observable and non observable universe okay, so what else can be uh, uh, inculcated in this if we want to you know make them aware about their personalities and careers and uh, uh so that you know uh, like treatment precautions and wellness these are the three ways so i'm working mainly on the wellness and understanding oneself so what else can be inculcated as um, rajitha has given the four stages by ramana roshi uh, that can also uh, we can inculcate what else can be added up Can you just guide me for that? Okay. So, uh, anybody? Sir, you respond. Okay. Uh, actually, I wanted to answer earlier also in context of Deepika's question, and I just wanted to bring everybody's uh, attention on one particular topic. Like, it is okay that we have Gita with us. Okay, we can introduce the concept of Gita to our student. and gita is believed to enhance the individual's characteristic and bring positive strength into the individual's personality <clears throat> but what about all other people who are not having gita in around them because there are so many communities existing in this world and gita is only pious or for so known for hindus but what about the yahudis what about the jews what, what about the i mean other religious communities and sects how can we i mean inculcate morals values goodness kindness not everybody is going to uh, are going to have geeta in around them so i want to bring everybody's concern on this topic or this fact that we all are having by default such characteristic which do not really need geeta kind of things i mean goodness value system and morality can be inculcated in all the individuals related to any community sect or group in, in not entirely or not only depending on the geeta kind of i mean very true i i got your context so what i yeah what yeah. i am emphasizing is that that we all are having libidinal energy in us hmm. that libidinal energy is life instinct and death instinct eros and thanatos hmm. gita has been written by some individual and before this it is not necessary that that individual also had studied some other text but because of their inherent default by default characteristic of being good or staying good they were able to envision something related to morals related to value system and related to other natural positive characteristic so i am what i am emphasizing that only by focusing on the conscientiousness of the individual we can inculcate the positive aspect moral based standard instinctual based good habits and good thinking pattern in our students 
And in context to Deepika's next question, what else can be introduced to the today's students of 12th standard? I believe that there are lots of important aspects scattered in this Vedantic philosophy. For example, uh, there is a small, a small just example, self-inquiry. I'm not sure how many of us in schools, in your universities, or in our even homes are practicing this habit of self-inquiry with our students. As I have told you, self-inquiry is not to criticizing yourself negatively, but self-inquiry is an effort to bring more character strength in the individual. So like this, there are so many other, other. Aspects, small aspects. I mean, today's students need moral teachings, moral based behavior, morality based thinking. So all these must be addressed with students. Right, right. Answers partially to Deepika's question. Right. So like we have, like, like I one... Sir, you are just one sec. You said that this is not a relevant question, but, but this is connected because I want children to start understanding themselves by this curriculum, introducing, inculcating these topics. Because we have already started psych uh, uh, integrating psychology and spirituality with uh, mindfulness, which is uh, uh, the the uh, this this topic has came from outside, not from India, but basically we call tapasya uh, meditation, what we call in Indian culture. So uh, because uh, like these questions, this was in related only what I felt. So sorry for that if it is not related. Alright, thank you so much, Lalit sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, one last thing that I want to, and then we'll close the session. At uh, like, uh, uh, there is like, I think, uh, like uh, what uh, Lalit sir was saying, like self. If we inculcate or teach self inquiry uh, and uh, to students, that will be very helpful things for anything by developing I think, moral things or something or anything else. That will be the thing. Yeah, Himansu is uh, asking some question. His, Himansu, be uh, like very uh, brief, asking question, and uh, then uh, I think Manoj sir is there or not? Yes, he is okay. very much there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Himansu, just ask question because time is over now. So because sir, a uh, personal question tha mera. Ba, haan, like haan, sometimes मुझे जो है थोड़ा sleep में बहुत ज़्यादा problem face करने को मिलती. मतलब मेरे को बस मैंने ये पढ़ा है कि भई स्लीप से क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है इन द इन द अगर रात में आप ठीक से स्लीप नहीं लेते हो बट हमें मुझे ये नहीं पता कि आ, हम आ, स्लीप कैसे बेटर कर सकते हैं आई थिंक डॉक्टर विकास वर द बेस्ट पर्सन टू आंसर दिस तो मैं कभी कभी वो अभी चले गए हैं आई थिंक तो आई थिंक हम ये क्वेश्चन आपका हम उनके तक पहुंचाएंगे है ना जी Uh, और आपको आंसर मिलेगा मतलब सर और अगर एक रिक्वेस्ट अगर ये इस तरह की क्लास और भी रखी जाए तो सर आप लोगों से uh, रिक्वेस्ट कि आप भी जी जी इट इज नॉट ए क्लास इट इज ए डिस्कशन सो वी डू जी 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 वी डू दिस काइंड ऑफ सेशंस लाइक फ्रॉम लास्ट आई थिंक 6 8 मंथ्स 5 6 8 आई थिंक इट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर देन 6 मंथ्स राइट सो इन दैट ग्रुप वी लाइक Uh, me and uh, Lalit sir, Manoj sir, and uh, Vikas sir is there, and there are one or two more people are there. So if that we do, uh, because it this that sessions are not planned. Any day we whenever we think we uh, we do that thing like once in a month or twice in a month something like that, and we discuss these things. And any question you can come with, but there is, I think there is uh, one thing that. you have to read also and come with uh, some uh, uh, thing so that is that is there so if you we will have these kind of things because this is very close group so if you want to join you can request uh, as you can send me a message i will request dr vikas and i think dr vikas is the admin or uh, dr lalit is so uh, you can join if you like and there is no content on the app attend karna hai ya karna hi hai Uh, whenever you want to join, you join. If you don't want to exit, you are free to exit. Uh, as I said, right, Lalit sir? जी जी बिल्कुल इसमें कोई liabilities और commitment नहीं है. It is entirely based on your willingness. If you find it okay, then get us with us. We will be happy to have you with us. Okay. Or uh, I mean, it is just a beginning. So let us travel together. Hmm. Hmm?
so here so if if you want to join as himans as himansu you uh, uh, like asked so um, you you can just send a request to me sir i am in ha huh. so sure whoever you want to join so they they can just message me and there is no compulsion to join there is no compulsion to go like stay there you can exit at any point of time you can read you can come with the questions right so these but, are things but but sir ek bolna chahunga do spread the message to rest of the needy one ha so jo bhi hai jisko bhi lagta hai so jo bhi kisi ko lagta hai hmm. so they can join like so these are the things and uh, yes i think uh, someone has any question I would like to invite you, sir, the Dikti Manoj Ji, Vikas Ji, Atul Ji, at our place. If you can come okay. for a session for our parents and teachers and students. Yes, no. if you will organize. You are always available. Please, uh, if you find uh, us worth of anything, you can just please let yes. us know. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Okay, anyone, anyone can invite. We don't charge anything. <laughs> yes, we don't. We don't. We don't, we don't charge we don't. anything. So, then our organization would be more happy <laughs> we, we don't charge anything rather we are always eager to give something if there is someone needy of having anything materialistic in perspective just let us know we will try to offer it ananya anything you want to ask you haven't asked any question ask like are there any courses or anything from which i can learn about you know vedic cycle start reading i don't think there is course like, or something no no recently there, 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 are, book. there are acha there are lot of uh, uh, actually uh, yeah, yeah. i am actually ahead. interested in hypnotherapy so i recently found a book which is uh, indian handbook of clinical hypnosis so i have mm. been reading that like uh, it is also saying that in our ancient text like this concept of hypnosis has been there mm -hmm. so uh, just like that i also wanted to find like you know uh, how psychology has been in our text and if it, if it could be you know found in english books like mm -hmm. yeah so lalit sir i think this is the best person to answer lalit sir is expert in dream analysis also let me tell you and uh, so and, and manoj sir is uh, like in neuro so uh, lalit sir can answer this question no no if if you really want to do some course kind of thing uh, on any topic i will suggest you that uh, there is gurukul kangri university and uh, there are other few more universities who are providing i think some some universities also functional at uh, madhya pradesh Mad and pondicherry in indian psychology i think pondicherry pondicherry institute is also providing few courses mm -hmm. so more detail can be found from the website mm -hmm. but of course there are courses which taught the indian psychology and indian philosophy and, and start uh, reading different papers also and books yeah, that yeah, will, they are all in english there are will, atul sir you can share the recent uh, <laughs> pdf uh, copy of of journal uh, on indian psychology so you just drop me a message i will send you the link of the our like website that is iscp web journal website wahan pe aap current session mein aap dekh sakte ho kafi sare articles hain psychology pe so that you can access theek hai i think we should bind up now yes right? yes yes yeah, no? because it is you are already traveled a lot i think uh, and thank you very much for joining lalit sir and manoj sir i know thank you sir you thank, thank you sir you both are tired thank you sir <laughs> nee, nee. Uh, we are privileged to have you with uh, us and um, we are always looking opportunities to share our ideas with you and, and thank you very much for being with us sir yes, thank you. you hopefully we'll thank have you Atul, sir, for, for organizing such a wonderful event and we are looking for many more yes okay sir sir thank, thank you. you very much everyone for joining thank us you, thank you sir thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you, okay. Okay. Thank you so much sir see you soon take care take care bye okay bye bye